Hi there, my name is Diva Malar Pandi, Senior Administrator for Language Department at SMK Pulau Keta. I'm taking part in teacher category for Melta International Conference in English Language Education. Today, my research will be on hands-on visual and 4C to increase proficiency level of propositions by using handphone applications. For this research, I have implemented 21st century teaching and learning through hands-on visual activities. At the same time, I have implemented uh, four CIS components uh, in teaching process, that is communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. At the same time, I am also going to show you how handphone application can increase the proficiency level of prepositions. Before I come up with this research, I have uh, stated two statements of problem. First, students are not motivated to learn preposition of places. Secondly, students are not understand the use of preposition of places. So for my research, there are two questions. Firstly, how hands-on visual teaching can motivate the students to learn preposition of places. And secondly, what type of activities can make the students to understand about preposition of places. For my research, I have come up with a framework consists of teaching method, teaching activities, and proficiency level. The sample for my research are the people from Pulau Keta. Pulau Keta consists of 90% of Chinese and they work as a fisherman. So the school that I'm working in is SMK Pulau Keta. Total students are 318 and it is a grade B school. Students background, most of them are working. At the same time, they're helping their parents in fishing and they also produce processed dry seafood. So for my research, total of 18 students took part and they are from Form 4 Saturia. The methodology consists of pre-test, observation, post-test. In pre-test, I'll be giving the students worksheet, which is fill in the blanks. During my observation, students are observed on their behavior during the lesson. So how, how do I measure their observation? Actually through using traffic light, which is one of the components in uh, our 21st teaching. Okay. Then to see the outcome of the result, I've come up with a worksheet that is a post-test worksheet, which is similar with the pre-test, but there are some changes. So from here, I can know how was the outcome from my implementation of this research through this post test. During the process of teaching, so there are three stages. Stage one, I will be introducing preposition of places by using flashcards. Stage two, students tend to be grouped in few groups and they have to design a house manually by giving uh, by using the preposition of places by uh, by uh, designing all the things in the house by using the preposition that i have already taught them to, uh, by using the flashcards so stage three is the final that is the outcome where they're going to design the house which they design in manually now they're going to design by using any of the handphone application which can be used to design a house okay so when they have designed the house by using the application so the outcome will be in the form of picture or it can be a video so they will be presenting uh, the outcome of the design of the house uh, in a role play where i'll be uh, creating a very nice environment for them it is an exhibition so where students will take turn in a group to present while mean, uh, meanwhile the other students will listen to their presentation at the same time there will be a quest a q and a section with them so uh, if you see from here, uh, remember that uh, the four components that I told you, uh, four C's. So all the four C's can be implemented at the end of the product when they're doing their presentations. So based on the pre-test and the post-test, which I'm going to give them a worksheet. So after their presentations, and this was the outcome where if you see before this, uh, the total of passes was 44.5% only. 
but after I have implemented the process of teaching the three stages, uh, teach them by using the flashcards and design the house and then I just uh, use a very, uh, uh, how to say, creative way of teaching where I ask them to use handphone to design their house and do a presentation. So they tend to understand more. So when I give them the post test, so this was the outcome. All the students pass. They manage to understand the preposition of places how to use in sentence, how to use in their daily communication. So it is a very good uh, positive result which I got it through my research. So from this, i like to conclude for my research is that students' achievement from the pre-test and the post-test shown a very good improvement. They have increased their self-confidence when they are presenting, memory and understand about a preposition of places. Lastly, uh, implementing creative way approach in teaching and learning can create a cheerful and interesting environment for the students. So, uh, being a teacher, we need to think more creative so that our objective of the lesson can be achieved at the end of the lesson. Thank you. At the same time, I would like to share some of the design they have created. So, there are four groups. These are the designs. Uh, some of them designs a living room, bedroom, a study room, and kitchen. Thank you. That's all from me, Diva Malar from SMK Pulaketam.